This assessment asks us to do three things. Use bond association energy to calculate delta H, estimate delta S, and then calculate delta G, assuming a temperature of 298. Let's start by calculating delta H using bond association energies. For that, we're gonna look at the bonds broken and the bonds formed and compare the energies from the bond association energy table. You'll note that we're breaking a tertiary CH bond on the left side of the reaction, while at the same time breaking a chlorine-chlorine sigma bond. The tertiary CH bond has a bond association energy of 91 kilocalories per mole, whereas the chlorine-chlorine sigma bond has a bond association energy of 58 kilocalories per mole. We have to put that much energy in to break the bonds. In terms of the bonds that are gonna form, we're gonna form a tertiary carbon-chlorine bond and the HCl sigma bond. The tertiary carbon-chlorine bond has a bond association energy of 79 kilocalories per mole, and the HCl sigma bond has a bond association energy of 103 kilocalories per mole. That amount of energy is how much energy we get out from forming the bonds. When we add these up, 99 plus 58 gives us a total of 149 kilocalories per mole of energy we put into the system to break the bonds. 79 plus 103 gives us a total of 182 kilocalories that are released. If we subtract the formed bonds from the broken bonds, we get a total of 33 kilocalories per mole, negative 33 kilocalories per mole for our value of delta H. This reaction is favored in terms of delta H by negative 33 kilocalories per mole. 33 kilocalories per mole are released. 33 kilocalories per mole of energy are released in this reaction. To estimate delta S, we're basically just gonna look at the number of molecules on each side. And, and again, we understand that that gives us an approximation, but we're going from two molecules on the left side to two molecules on the right. And even though HCl might be able to dissociate and that result in a slightly positive value of delta S, we're gonna say that delta S here is approximately zero because it's two molecules going to two molecules. This makes part three easy because we're gonna calculate delta G. We know that delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S. If this value is zero, then essentially delta G equals delta H. So delta G for this reaction is also negative 33 kilocalories per mole.